Okay, this this was the second one I was planning to do, Chad, before Needle abandoned you because she hates you. <laughs> yeah, Needle hates you all. This is called uh, TCB ponies try to invade Earth, but then they fail miserably. This is completely random and stupid. I'm going to read it in, like, voice appropriate because there's a lot of characters in here. You're going you're gonna to enjoy this. This is a short one. <coughs> but why? The only chapter. Attention, humans! Celestia's voice boomed from every radio, speaker, and television set on Earth. Your time as... Oh, wait, no. I should be doing this in the frickin' Friendship with Witchcraft voice. Your time as an unforgivably violent and depraved species has come to an end. As we speak, our armies are marching towards your population centers and are prepared to face your leaders. You will convert to our side or you will die. Thousands... <laughs> th thousands of armed police descended on the northeastern U.S. coast proudly waving the equestrian standard and forming battle lines as they prepared to march upon Washington. As their forefront were the elements of harmony, ready to face any threat. On the opposite side stood the American army, steadfast and res resolute, even in the face of an approaching invaders. At the forefront stood Barack Obama, his ear... <laughs> His ears flapping in the wind alongside the stars and stripes. Along with his trusted military advisor, the Texan 6,000 star general, uh, Supreme Commander, proud patriot, American Eagle Jebediah Lone Star Granger. The, the enemy approaches, Obama muttered sullenly. <laughs> Ain't no That's worries, good Mr. Obama. President, sir, drawled Jebediah in his te- Er, sorry. Ain't no worries, Mr. President, sir, drawled Jebediah in his Texas drawl as he put on a com as he put a comforting hand on Barack's shoulder before turning toward his troopers. Men, they may take our lives, but they will never take my freedoms. The, the soldiers cheered loudly, whooping cries of America before aiming their weapons at the oncoming army. Jebediah brought up his own gun, an AK-16, firing six million rounds per minute, <laughs> fitted with a tactical ACOG red dot ballistic scope, a knife grenade launcher, and a clipazine with infinite capacity for school-seeking bullets before ordering oh. the assault. Open God, fire! Dad. The equestrian army started dropping like flies under the onslaught, in retaliation, several bolts of magic struck the patriotic men who dropped to the ground with agonizing screams as a sorrowful trumpet played in the background. A, a single tear fell down Obama's cheek as the young kid fell as a young kid fell at his feet, still proudly holding the tattered American flag in the air. Tell my mama I love her. He gurgled out, but Obama firmly grasped his hand. Not today, son. With his... <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> With his powerful ghetto magic, Obama tightened his hold on the kid <laughs> as patriotic energies swirled around them. With a mighty cry of, Change! Obama infused the young man with so much freedom that all his wounds healed, and the president helped the kid to his feet before raising a mighty finger toward the ponies. Onward, my loyal men! Show them the superiority of your genetics! Suddenly... <laughs> Suddenly, the ground started to shake as hundreds of 300-pound lardasses rolled down the hill toward the equestrian <laughs> army, causing their ranks to scatter and flee from the oncoming disaster. Uh, yes, we can! Obama launched a powerful ball of energy toward the broken remains of the Pony Army, causing many casualties as they were overwhelmed by the superior American freedom that overshadowed the tyrannical rule of their royalty. 
And thus, the few survivors were literally driven into the sea as they fled from the flood of fat still coming toward them. And a break in the text. Meanwhile, an, an elite pony task force led by Princess Luna teleported herself into central London with the goal of assaulting Buckingham Palace. All the humans stopped in the streets and watched as the princess halted a car and forced the driver to exit the vehicle. Tell me where your royalty resides, human, and thou might be spared. The driver stared at her silently for a long moment before opening his mouth filled with rotten teeth. Are you Wembley Falls, mate? I'm Crimbo Nixon Sachs family sibling dipped another chap. Luna's expression changed from anger to sheer confusion. I... I beg your pardon? You what, mate? The pony shuffled nervously as the man started laughing maniacally. <laughs> Suddenly, everyone in the street froze as Big Ben started to ring out. Bong, bong, bong. A carriage with the initials HRH rode across the street before stopping in the middle of it, and the Queen of England herself struck her head out. Oh, you get? Did you hear that? It be six bongs! The driver poked his head out. Six bongers! Luna fell backwards as the sewer cover under her burst open, and another filth covered man jumped out. Six feckin' bongs! The princess and her guards soon found themselves almost crushed under the sheer mass of people that started pouring out into the streets. Yo wankers be crimbo six a bong! She heard someone shout. Store clerks and chimney sweeps started dancing around chanting, Six a bong! Six a bong! Six a bong is here! As Luna and the ponies started choking from the amount of pure filth in the air, Six a bong, six a bong, Ollie Jolly, it's six a bong! Luna screamed in frustration as she felt herself being carried away by the unavoidable crowds of chanting and dancers as copious amounts of fish and chips were thrown in the air. Bang up the knacker, smack your mom, all in the streets, it's six a bong! Why is this a saying? Meanwhile, in Australia, Tony Abbott, the Prime Minister, was having a fist fight with the owner of a bar about which the flavor about which flavor of Vegemite was superior. The commotion was interrupted as an Australian Secret Service agent, an emu, announced that the ponies had arrived by trumpeting on the royal didgeridoo. Silence settled over the patrons before Mr. Prime Minister Tony Abbott smashed a beer can against his own head. Fucking A! What a bunch of fucking cans! A civilian started packing the cane toes in Vegemite tubes and started heading for the outback. Prime Minister Tony Abbott ordered the Dreamtime Brigade, a task force of Aboriginal and Australian hunters trained in the art of the gun and the blade. Meanwhile, the pony fleet led by Cadence and Shining Armor arrived on the Australian coast. As Shining ordered the humans through his magical megaphone to stand down, silence reigned across the ocean as everyone waited for Abbott's response. Yeah, nah, your shit cunt! Very well then, Shining leant closer to his wife and whispered in her ear, I have no idea what he just said. As the mainland invasion force set hoof on the Australian soil, oblivious to their fleet being eroded away by the Australian sharks, they were engaged by aboriginals hurling burning oil drums at them while hollering in a native language. The invasion force was soon overwhelmed by the mounted emu and kangaroo troopers mowing them down at each pass, and the Australian hunters skinned their pelts to sell to the Japanese. Back in Equestria, the princess with sh disheveled hair watched in utter disbelief as her ponies were driven away from every part of the planet. Western Europe had, had been a complete failure from the start. 
as her guards were mercilessly beaten to death either by baguette wielding Frenchmen shouting, oh, ha, 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 or by German Uber Bratwurst. Russia had ended in catastrophe as her forces were drowned in seas of vodka as burly Slavic men yelled, Supia Blit! at every <laughs> opportune moment. And her ponies in China and Japan were never heard from again as they disappeared into the morning rush crowds to the subway and were likely eaten. Celestia's eye twitched as she took in the full scope of the situation. Well, shit. <laughs> the end. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. Oh, I'm so glad this. I'm so glad that fake exists. Oh man, yeah, we we dug up some gems today. This is. Oh my god, yes. This is this. This is absolutely. I'm so. I'm just. This is, I'm, I'm so glad this is now just a recurring. It, Recur- recurring East Coast series. Oh man, yeah, me and Nina, we had a we had a good good fucking time, and and we'll bring on guests eventually too. Like you know, she can drag her um she can drag her boy toy on for one of these, and maybe we'll get Dusty uh, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. Get oh. Somba on to read some Project Horizon tactics. <laughs> Let me check the chat, see how they reacted to all that. Oh, they've been. It's, 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 <coughs> it's, it's, their response is exactly what you'd expect to be. Lots of inane screaming at what the fuck we just heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. that was. I think I, I, I lost my shit at Obama. Wasn't um, that great? That, that was, was a, that was incredible. <laughs> that and that that and Tony Abbott. I think those were the winners. <laughs> You mean the Mr. Prime Minister? 